Hi everyone, this is Taylor McDonald here. I am here to demonstrate how to connect a, an Apex Braille Note to an iPad um, via Bluetooth. <clears throat> so, um, I'm gonna stress right, right off the bat that order is very, very, very important. You have to make sure VoiceOver is off before you try to connect it, um, before you try to connect the Apex to your iPad, all right? So let's turn off, I'm gonna turn off voiceover right now. Voiceover off. All right, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna to go to your Apex, you're gonna press the from the main menu, which is dots one, two, three, four, five, and six, with the space bar at the same time. Main menu. From there, you're gonna press the letter T, as in Tom, which is dots two, three, four, and five. Braille terminal port, currently. It'll take you to the Braille terminal port. If it's not already in Bluetooth, you're gonna press the letters, the letter B, as in boy, for um, to turn on Bluetooth, which is dots one and two. Bluetooth. Then you're gonna press Enter, which selects that setting. Um, enter is the very far right key um, that's next to dot six. Braille terminal. Now that it says Braille terminal, that is your that is your key to knowing when you can turn on VoiceOver. So I'm gonna go over to my iPad. I'm gonna triple tap because that's I have that setting already. VoiceOver on settings. Okay. So when you go into settings, you're gonna go over to general. Settings. Search field. Airplane. Wi-Fi. Selected. Bluetooth. Up. Notification. Control center. Do not just general. One update available. Button. Double tap. Button. You're gonna go down to accessibility. Double tap. You're gonna go down to voiceover. Double tap. Now you're gonna to want to go down to the to Braille. So let's. Okay. Double tap on Braille. So this is you're gonna use three fingers to to swipe upwards on the screen to get down to the very bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, they'll have, it'll have a um, category that says, let's see. Choose, braille display. choose braille display. So if there's any braille displays within view or um, Wi-Fi, then it'll pop up at the bottom. So it says Apex. My Apex is not paired yet, so we'll double tap. Apex zero 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 four six one pairing. Secure text field. Is that Character mode. Insertion point at start zero. Pair button. Pair alert. Pairing unsuccessful. Make sure Apex. Okay. Button. Okay. Settings. Move forward to ten pen. So a lot of times it's either you have to press. Um, press zero, 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 zero to get it to connect, or it's one, two, three, four. It just depends on the version of Apex you have. So I'm gonna try that again. Let's see. Apex zero, 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 four, six, one. Pairing, secure text field. Is that again? Carrot zero. Selected settings. Apex 0004, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Connected. Button. Show on screen keyboard. Off. All right. So I put in the code 0000, 0, 0, 0 for my Apex to connect. And um, we'll scroll back down. And now that, and I'll click on the Apex at the bottom of the screen. Selected. Apex 0, 0, 0, 4, 6, 1. Connected. Button. So now it's connected. Um, again, order is very important. If you have, if you have voiceover on before you connect it, it's not going to connect. It'll pop up with an error or it'll say unsuccessful, uh, or unable to pair device. Um, so I, you know, I suggest, um, you know, paying close attention to that input and, 
um, saving the hassle because I went through a lot of hassle trying to figure out how to connect it. Um, and this was the easiest way to do it. Um, so now, um, within this, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how you can change the braille to um, uncontracted, contracted, um, six dots, eight dots, eight dots um, through your iPad. So if you go up to the very top of the screen, the braille display output, um, right now, you double tap on it. Right now it's uncontracted six dot braille or uncontracted eight dot braille or contracted braille. Those are the three options you have um, depending on what your level of um, braille proficiency is, depends on you know what setting you want it to be on. To select it, you just double tap. Um, you can do the same for the braille display input and the braille screen input. Um, so that's about it. Um, like I said, there's only three settings um, in regards to the braille, the type of braille, uncontracted, um, six dots, eight dots, and contracted braille. So, um, let's see if there's, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Um, now that it is paired, I'll show you what it does. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. But if I swipe on the screen, now everything that pops up on the braille display is what it says on my iPad. So if you listen carefully, it says equations using Nemeth code. So now on the braille display, it says equations using Nemeth mode. So you can also, instead of using the screen, you can press um, any of the keys on your, on your um, apex and it'll move throughout the screen, um, selecting different options if you want. I'm using the front, um, the front buttons on the apex that's below the braille display. That's moving either, which is moving the focus either up or down um, on the iPad. So yeah, that's about it. Um, the next video I'm gonna do is talking about how to connect your um, Apex to a Windows computer. So stay tuned and I'll have that video for you guys next. Have a great day, bye.